Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create uh, this denim texture. Um, the exact process I'm still kind of in the uh, stages of making it look a little bit better but I thought it was far enough long that uh, possibly that uh, I could go ahead and do a video on it and kind of show you how to do this um, so let's go ahead and get started um, this is what we're going to be creating is uh, this denim texture here so let's go ahead and close up this and we're going to create a new and we'll go ahead and make it a 10 by 10 and then uh, we want uh, <clears throat> pardon me the background to be transparent you may have to click the little plus key there for the advanced options and then say OK when you get that opened up this image is going to be very very tiny uh, so you can uh, click the zoom tool the hotkey for the zoom tool is Z but uh, most generally what I like to do is I'm just going to hold my control key and use the scroll wheel on my mouse and scroll up uh, to zoom in and then I'm going to choose uh, my pencil tool and I'm going to choose a, uh, a hard brush and then I want to set my size to about two and then I'm gonna make sure I'm using the uh, black or the uh, foreground color I'm just gonna go along here and just create a black line all the way across there go to edit and I'm gonna copy uh, let's see Let's see, first let's go to select all and then edit and copy. And then I'm going to create a new image after that and uh, create any size you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my screen resolution and we're going to set it to 1280 by 768. Uh, and it really doesn't matter we can set it to the background color is fine it, uh, we're gonna go ahead and flood fill this new new image anyway <clears throat> one thing that I prefer to do is uh, you can see this yellow dotted line yellow and black around the image uh, you can turn that off by going to view and uncheck layer boundary and then we're going to go to the foreground image and we're going to choose a uh, a denim color, a dark blue. Uh, really doesn't matter because we can adjust it later. I'm going to go to the bucket fill tool and I'm going to make sure that uh, I have foreground color chosen. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> fill that, that layer uh, with that color. Uh, let's see here next I'm gonna go to filters and I'm gonna choose noise HSV noise and uh, my settings are this uh, the holdness is about 4 the hue is set to 62 saturation 84 and the value is about 12 uh, you may want to adjust those later and then uh, let's go ahead and create a new layer on top of our background layer and it needs to be uh, the same size and transparent and then uh, if you remember on this other image we we copied it and now I'm going to go to edit and paste as new pattern and we'll I've already done that once here and I've just named it scanline tut. Uh, you can 
name it whatever you want and I'm gonna click OK and when you do that it uh, puts it in your patterns over here and with the uh, bucket fill tool I'm gonna go to pattern fill and just below the pattern fill you should see uh, the scan line, line tut pattern and we're just gonna flood fill that with that pattern and that gives you the uh, texture um, for our denim. Uh, I'm not liking uh, on our background layer I'm not liking that blue so I'm just gonna go ahead and select that background layer and then I'm gonna go to colors and then I'm gonna go to levels. And I'm gonna kinda adjust these sliders to kind of just that color a little bit. There, I think that'll work. And say OK. <clears throat> I'm going to go back up to our layer with the scan line, and I'm going to create a new layer on top of that. Say OK. And then I'm going to choose my uh, my paintbrush. And, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and set the opacity up to 100. I may need to adjust that some more later. Uh, let's see. Brush size is set to 2. Let's go ahead and crank that up. Uh, let's make sure that your background is set to black. There's a couple just underneath the foreground and background color. There's a, a little icon there and you can uh, click on that icon to reset your foreground and background colors to the uh, default which is black and white and on this new layer we're just I'm going to use uh, we're using the paintbrush tool and I'm just going to click then I'm going to hold my shift key and then the control key which creates a uh, black line here and then let's go to filters and blur and Gaussian blur and let's give it about a blur of 25 and I'm let's go ahead and do that again uh, you can go under filters and repeat uh, that Gaussian blur or you can just use the hotkeys control F so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go control F and blur that again to all. Mm, that's a little blurred a little too much okay and what we're doing here is creating the seam um, so now with that blurred I'm gonna create another layer on top of that layer that we just created and I'm going to swap uh, my background and foreground so my foreground is white and I'm going to uh, the current size of this brush is 34 I'm gonna crank it down just a little bit I I have uh, my scroll wheel set uh, so I can scroll up and down to change the size of that brush um, and maybe later I'll do a tutorial on that uh, let's crank our opacity down to let's say about 45 or 50 and just like we did on the last layer I'm just gonna uh, click up here somewhere and then I'm gonna hold my shift and then the control key and that's not what I wanted um, let's go ahead and bring that opacity up to 100 and make that brush just a little bit smaller and then I'm just gonna kinda go to uh, the very edge of, of this other layer here and I think I want that brush still just a little bit smaller because what we're doing uh, this is our high, uh, where the darkness for our uh, crease on a seam of these this denim texture and now we're creating the highlight there I think that will work 
Now let's go ahead and try and we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna go to blur and motion blur. And we're going to set our length down to about 18 and then click OK. Mm. Let's try to bring down the opacity and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's that's better. Okay, just tweak the opacity to where it starts to look okay. And then I usually uh, go ahead and um, this top layer that we just did, I'm just going to right click on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and merge that down. And then I'm going to take my smudge tool and uh, crank up my brush size a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of smudge this kind of in uh, the left direction. Try not to catch uh, too much of the black in there. Just go ahead and smudge away here. We're just going to kind of give uh, this highlight kind of expanded out a little bit there. And it's okay if you kind of overdo it because then we can uh, go back in here <coughs> and uh, choose our eraser tool and uh, make sure the opacity on your eraser tool is pretty light and then you can crank up your brush and just kind of anywhere it doesn't look good just kind of begin to work your eraser tool kind of there until it until you kind of get on a look you want there we go I think that looks good we can kind of still see our highlight there uh, let's erase some of this side over here just a little bit that's there I think that looks fairly good let's control Z that and see if we can not just catch some of this outside edge to lighten well I'll tell you what let's just uh, click up here hold shift and then control yeah that did it and what I did is just kinda erased kinda the very edge there so it lightened it on the outside but it left a little bit darker strip kinda there in the middle and as you can see that's kind of a nice little uh, seam there that we just created okay so now I'm gonna create a new layer on top of that and it can be transparent and then I'm gonna choose my uh, paths tool the hotkey for that is B or you can choose it up here under the tools and after I choose that tool I'm gonna go to my foreground color and I'm gonna kinda choose oh kind of a golden yellow color and what we're going to do is create some thread in here I'm just gonna click and then click down here at the bottom uh, you, and then I can use the move to kinda move this into place and then uh, under the uh, tool options here uh, you will see stroke path and we're just going to click that and uh, we're going to choose solid color and I've got the anti-aliasing uh, box checked and then line width set to about four and then uh, you have just under the line width you have a line style and I'm going to click that box and we have a drop down menu and then uh, dash preset is set to custom and then we'll just choose a uh, medium dashes and then you can click stroke and you can't see it because our tool is still in the way so just click in another tool and uh, what we 
just did there was create these uh, this thread uh, you can let's see I kind of would prefer that be a little darker so can I go in and choose uh, your brightness and contrast there you go okay um, it's a pretty nice denim texture but I like I like uh, it to have a little bit more definition so I'm gonna create a uh, another layer on top of our uh, thread layer there and I'm going to choose a uh, my paintbrush and I'm gonna choose kind of a uh, fuzzy brush here and I'm gonna reset my foreground and background and we're gonna choose a white color I'm gonna crank my opacity down pretty good here and in this new layer I'm just going to begin to paint some just some lines on there kind of like this and then I'm gonna grab my smudge tool crank up my brush size and I'm just gonna go over that what we're doing here is kind of creating some highlights and some uh, kind of making this not look so so it was done with a paintbrush which is kind of crank up my brush size a little bit more here and you can continue to smudge that till it's uh, almost gone or you can adjust uh, your opacity on this layer but I like to just continue to smudge that until it's almost gone so it's not uh, too prominent uh, but what this does kind of give our uh, a little more definition to our denim texture kind of uh, the texture was way too clean so there we go kind of a uh, few little faded spot spots in our jeans that's starting to look kind of nice there or at least I like it but you can just use these techniques to kind of uh, develop your own denim texture and uh, let's go ahead and swap our foreground color to black and let's go ahead and create another layer on top there and crank our pasty down some more and we'll just oops make sure you got your brush tool selected just kind of paint some very light strokes in there and then go back to your smudge tool just kind of well let's see here are we on the correct layer yeah we are maybe turn the opacity up a little bit A little bit more and just kind of go ahead and smudge our black layer there that we just put on so it looks a little bit more natural um, I, I have used a, uh, a graphics tablet doing this uh, now GIMP 2.8 the uh, pressure sensitivity doesn't work but you can still use the the pen at least for me it did the first time I tried it but I haven't tried it again so this kind of gives our jeans our denim texture a little bit more dirt a little more depth nice and dirty uh, maybe later I'll actually go in here and do a pocket and maybe a, 
uh, add in a zipper. But if uh, you can always just continue to tweak and uh, switch between your layers and continue to smudge and, and work it till there's till it's something that uh, you like. Uh, but anyway, I think we've done enough on this, and uh, you can just go ahead and just continue to use these techniques I've just shown you and uh, create this denim texture. And uh, if you've created a, a model and it's in uh, a model, character model, and it's wearing jeans, then you know how to uh, create a denim texture. And also, maybe later I will uh, do a tutorial on painting some wrinkles in. But that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Have a great day.